Did Claudia solve the puzzle? Or did it always happen this way? Is everyone gone? Or do they live on in the original world? These are the questions I will look to answer in this video and more. So journey with me through the German forest, back to a small town called Winden, as I attempt to explain the ending of the amazing Netflix series, Dark. Hey everyone, I'm Brent the Middleman, your middle-aged middle manager in middle America in a midlife crisis, here today with a video giving my explanation of the ending of the incredible sci-fi mystery show, Dark. If you are enjoying my videos and would like to support the channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's just a few quick clicks for you, but it means so much more for me. Thank you so much. The creators of Dark had planned from its inception to have three seasons, or what they call three cycles. This is perfect because not only is the number three very important to the show, but it also made sure it had a very specific beginning, middle, and end. Too many shows that started strong have ended with a fizzle because they were more interested in keeping the series going than having a specific story they wanted to tell. <coughs> Lost. We cannot form a theory about the ending of Dark without taking a look at the beginning, because as Adam is fond of saying, the end is the beginning. The first scene of the show, after we are shown the bunker and the crazy wall of connections, is Michael Conwald finishing a letter, putting it in an envelope that instructs the reader to open it at a date and time in the future, and then hanging himself from a beam in his attic. This is the beginning. A man who has led a strange and painful life, sacrificing himself for everyone else. This is also the end of Dark. Jonas and Alt Marta, two people who have led strange and painful lives, sacrificing themselves for everyone else. The end is the beginning. The problem of the knot was not solved by Adam's violence or by Eva's motherly instincts. The problem was solved by intellect, by science, and ultimately by sacrifice. Claudia used science and an endless amount of time to figure out how to end the loop. But was Claudia solving the riddle of the knot something new? Or is this what always happens, proving that the loop continues on? If we view time as God in this show, then technically God was defeated by Claudia, the white devil. Or was it? Adam, Eva, and Claudia all did what had to be done. But it was Claudia and science that won the day, but only because of the emotional connection between Jonas and Alt Marta. So if time, or God, created this connection, did God in fact use the devil to help fix a mistake? After their meeting on the bridge, Townhouse's son tells HG that they saw angels on the road. After their mission was complete, Jonas and Alt Marta broke into pieces of white light and floated upwards towards heaven. Angels are messengers of God. This seems to fit Jonas and Alt Marta, also known as Adam and Eva. This makes me believe that the show creators wanted the solution to be ambiguous. Was it science, or was it another power guiding our characters? I believe it was both, and now I will explain why I believe what we saw always happens and will happen again, as I believe the loop lives on. While in the time tunnel, Jonas sees a door. When the door opens, we are shown a young Marta who can see into the time tunnel, and who can see Jonas? Her mom, Katerina, comes to get her, but all she can see is the back of a closet. Then we see Alt Marta in the time tunnel, and she sees a door. The door opens, and we see a young Jonas, who also can see Alt Marta in the time tunnel. Michael slash Mickle comes to get Jonas, but all he sees is the back of a closet. This moment shows that they have always been connected. Not Jonas and the original Marta, like we were led to believe but Jonas and Alt Marta, Adam and Eva. This scene shows us that Jonas and Alt Marta saving the world on the instruction from Claudia always happened. Claudia tells Adam that this is new, that she figured out a way to change things. Well, if that was true, then how did young Jonas and young Alt Marta see the older versions of each other in the tunnel on their way to the third world? Unless this is another bootstrap paradox, they're destroying the loop and saving the original world is just part of the overall loop. Long live the knot. However, much like Lord of the Rings, Dark has multiple endings, so we are not quite done. And in this end scene, we get even more proof that the loop continues. Just when we think we have seen the last of the characters we have gotten to know over three seasons, or three cycles, we are shown a dinner party at Jonas's old house. This party is taking place in the third world that was seemingly saved by Claudia, Jonas, and Alt Marta. The house in this world belongs to Regina Tideman, who is alive and well and cancer-free apparently, 
and we know it is her house because there is a picture on the wall of Claudia with old Bern Doppler, yeah, gross, and Regina. So Dark has a clear winner, and that winner is Claudia, the badass, multi-eye-colored white devil. The other people at the party are all characters not born from a time loop relationship, or as I call it, a loop ship. Regina invited over the pregnant Hannah, who is married to Wooler, the one-eyed, one-armed cop who has both arms and both eyes, one eye is bruised though, in this world. Wooler's brother Benny is there, the transgender truck stop hooker who seems to be dating or is married to Peter Doppler, who is obsessed with Benny in the time loop world. The final character there is Katarina, who we last saw getting her head bashed in and having her lifeless body dragged into a lake by her own mother. Ah, got to love Dark. They are laughing and having a fun time when the lights start flickering on and off, just like when someone uses the time travel door in the cave. Some people believe this is happening right after Jonas and Alt Marta succeeded in saving the third world, destroying the loop, and this world is flickering back into existence. But based on the ages of the people at the party, this is taking place around 2019, or at least in the 2000s. In 1986, when Townhouse turned on his time machine that split the world, Katarina and Hannah and everyone else at the dinner were teenagers. So does this new world reappear 33 years after Townhouse turned on the machine like nothing happened? I believe that the lights turning on and off were not a sign of Jonas and Alt Marta completing their mission, but rather the time loop resetting across all of the 33-year segments across all three worlds. We have only seen what was happening in the two worlds during the time loop, so we have no idea what was going on in the third world other than seeing H.G. Townhouse turning on his time machine and hearing about his family dying in an accident on the bridge. I think the show ends with us getting a glimpse of the loop resetting from the perspective of the residents of the third world. At the end of the show, we are seeing the beginning of the loop in this other world. The end is the beginning. When the lights stop flickering, Hannah gives a worried look towards the yellow raincoat by the door, having some kind of deja vu that fills her with dread. We also find out that she is going to call her baby Jonas. No, this will not be the same Jonas, who we saw only exists in one of the three worlds, because Wooler is the father and it's just basic genetics but it shows us that this third world is connected to the other worlds. Finally, we see the dinner guests do a toast. They toast to a world without Winden, just like Ulrich and Hannah discussed at the bus stop in the loop world when they were kids. This was something that kept coming up in the other worlds, another sign that those worlds continue to exist, and the characters are aware on some level that Winden and the loop are knotted together. The toast confirms that Winden still exists, And Winden itself is the loop. Winden, in German, means to wind or to spiral, just like a time loop. So where does that leave us? At the end, of course. But in Dark, the end is also the beginning. I would love to read your theories in the comments. Once again, I'm Brent the Middleman. Thanks for watching.